robots end up stocking the shelves of your local grocery store. Don't laugh, it could be happening very soon. Canadian grocers are hauling in record profits these days, but that doesn't mean they're not looking to still cut costs. I recently talked to Canada's food professor, Dr. Sylvan Charlebois. He says he expects grocers to start employing AI-powered robots across the country. Instead of running a grocery store with 80 FTEs, full-time employees, they could actually bring that number down to say 50 or 55 instead. And, and the way to do that is to use more automation, robotics, and AI. You can do that now by getting robots to fill shelves. This isn't some science fiction scenario. The robots in these videos are very real. In fact, they're already working at grocery stores in multiple countries. With fresh products, uh, inventory can turn twice, three times a day. If you can actually get someone else or something else to do that instead of a human, uh, your costs become much more predictable. We want work! We want work! The talk about automating grocery rolls was reignited when workers at 27 metro stores in the Toronto area recently walked off the job, demanding higher wages and more full-time positions. But the impact of that walkout could be felt nationwide. Everyone is paying close attention to what's happening with Metro right now uh, because uh, I think everyone knows that optics are against uh, grocers right now and uh, and employees have a lot of political capital. They could win this thing. They could actually get more money and everyone wants that. The problem is that business models can't accommodate higher wages. So uh, grocers will have to make a decision in terms of how to manage stores moving forward using AI, things like that. With that in mind, do you see this as spreading to other uh, grocers? Oh yes, absolutely. And that's why every other grocer in this country is paying close attention to what's going on in Toronto right now, because it will, it could actually have a ripple effect on the entire sector. Aside from turning to AI to cut costs, grocers do have one other option to help cover rising labor costs. That would be hiking prices. Charles Bois admits this is a possibility, although a very unpopular one. Richard Southern, City News.